Definition of Hydrothermal Deposits Hydrothermal deposits refer to mineral deposits formed through the interaction of hot water and rock within the Earth's crust. These deposits typically occur in association with volcanic or geothermal activity, where fluids heated by magma or the Earth's internal heat rise to the surface, carrying dissolved minerals. As these fluids move through fractures and porous rock, they interact with the surrounding rocks, depositing minerals in the process. The formation of hydrothermal deposits involves several key processes. Firstly, the heat from the magma or geothermal source causes water to become heated and rise towards the surface. This water can originate from various sources, including meteoric water that infiltrates the ground or seawater that penetrates into the crust through fractures. As the hot water ascends, it dissolves minerals from the surrounding rocks, carrying them in solution. As the hot water moves through the Earth's crust, it encounters cooler conditions or reacts with different chemical environments. This can cause the dissolved minerals to precipitate out of solution and accumulate in fractures, cavities, or other suitable spaces within the rocks. The precipitation of minerals occurs due to changes in temperature, pressure, pH, or the mixing of different fluids. The types of minerals deposited in hydrothermal systems depend on various factors, including the composition of the original rock, the temperature and pressure conditions, the chemistry of the circulating fluids, and the length of time the fluids are in contact with the rocks. Common minerals found in hydrothermal deposits include metallic ores such as gold, silver, copper, lead, zinc, and tin, as well as nonmetallic minerals such as quartz, calcite, fluorite, and barite. Hydrothermal deposits can take on different forms, including vein deposits, stock works, disseminated deposits, and breccia pipes. Vein deposits are characterized by the concentration of minerals along fractures or faults in the rock, forming narrow, often vertical, mineralized zones. Stockwork deposits consist of a network of interconnected veinlets or fractures within a larger volume of rock. Disseminated deposits are characterized by widespread distribution of mineral grains throughout a host rock, often occurring in low concentrations. Breccia pipes are irregular masses of broken rock fragments cemented together by mineral deposition. Hydrothermal deposits are economically significant as a source of various valuable minerals, and they are commonly targeted for mining operations. Understanding the geological processes involved in the formation of hydrothermal deposits is essential for exploration geologists to identify potential ore bodies and optimize extraction methods. Additionally, studying hydrothermal systems provides insights into Earth's subsurface processes, geothermal energy resources, and even the potential habitability of extreme environments for microbial life. Formation of Hydrothermal Deposits the formation of hydrothermal deposits is a complex geological process driven by the interaction of hot fluids with rocks in the Earth's crust. This process involves several key stages and factors, each contributing to the deposition of minerals and the eventual formation of economically significant ore bodies. Source of Fluids Hydrothermal fluids typically originate from two primary sources, magmatic fluids and meteoric water. Magmatic fluids are derived from the partial melting of rocks in the Earth's mantle or crust, often associated with volcanic activity. As magma ascends towards the surface, it heats surrounding rocks and groundwater, creating a reservoir of hot, mineral-rich fluids. Meteoric water, on the other hand, originates from precipitation and infiltrates the ground, where it is heated by geothermal gradients or encounters hot rocks at depth. Fluid Migration once formed, hydrothermal fluids migrate through the crust along pathways such as fractures, faults, and porous rock formations. The movement of these fluids is influenced by factors such as pressure differentials, rock permeability, and regional geological structures. As the hot fluids ascend, they can dissolve minerals from the surrounding rocks, effectively scavenging elements such as metals, silica, and sulfur. Interaction with host rocks as hydrothermal fluids circulate through the crust, they interact with various types of host rocks. These interactions can result in alteration of the rocks, 
as well as the precipitation and deposition of minerals. The type and extent of alteration depend on factors such as fluid composition, temperature, pressure, and the mineralogy of the host rocks. Common alteration minerals associated with hydrothermal systems include chlorite, sericite, epidote, and albite. Deposition of Minerals When hydrothermal fluids encounter conditions that promote mineral precipitation, such as changes in temperature, pressure, or chemical composition, they deposit their dissolved load of minerals. This can occur through a variety of processes, including cooling, mixing with other fluids, reaction with host rocks, or changes in fluid pH. The minerals precipitate out of solution and accumulate in fractures, cavities, and other suitable spaces within the rocks, forming hydrothermal veins, stockworks, or disseminated deposits. Formation of ore bodies Over time, the continuous deposition of minerals from hydrothermal fluids can lead to the formation of economically significant ore bodies. These ore bodies may contain high concentrations of valuable metals such as gold, silver, copper, lead, zinc, and others. The size, shape, and grade of hydrothermal ore bodies vary depending on factors such as the duration of fluid flow, the volume and composition of fluids, the nature of host rocks, and tectonic processes that may deform or alter the deposit. Post-depositional processes After the initial formation of hydrothermal deposits, subsequent geological processes can further modify and enrich the ore bodies. These processes may include deformation and metamorphism, which can concentrate mineralization through folding, faulting, or recrystallization. Weathering and erosion can also expose buried ore bodies at the Earth's surface, leading to secondary enrichment through the leaching and redeposition of metals. Overall, the formation of hydrothermal deposits is a dynamic and multifaceted process that involves the interplay of geological, hydrological, and geochemical factors. Understanding these processes is crucial for mineral exploration and resource development, as well as for unraveling the Earth's subsurface processes and the evolution of hydrothermal systems over geological time scales. Hydrothermal Deposits Types Hydrothermal deposits encompass a diverse array of mineral occurrences formed through the interaction of hot fluids with rocks in the Earth's crust. These deposits can be classified into several distinct types based on their geological characteristics, mineralogy, and mode of formation. Understanding these different types is crucial for mineral exploration and resource assessment. Here are some of the main types of hydrothermal deposits. Vein deposits. Vein deposits are perhaps the most iconic type of hydrothermal deposit and are characterized by the concentration of minerals within fractures or faults in the host rock. These fractures serve as conduits for hydrothermal fluids, which deposit minerals as they flow through them. Veins can vary in width from centimeters to meters and can be either vertical or horizontal. Common minerals found in vein deposits include quartz, calcite, fluorite, sulfides, such as pyrite, galena, and sphalerite, and precious metals like gold and silver. Stockwork deposits Stockwork deposits consist of a network of interconnected veinlets or fractures within a larger volume of rock. These networks can occur in various orientations and can form extensive zones of mineralization. Stockwork deposits are commonly associated with volcanic or intrusive environments where there is abundant fracturing and permeability in the host rocks. They often contain base and precious metal ores, as well as minerals such as quartz, sericite, and chlorite. Disseminated deposits Disseminated deposits are characterized by the widespread distribution of mineral grains throughout a host rock, rather than being concentrated in discrete veins or veinlets. These deposits typically occur in altered volcanic or sedimentary rocks and can consist of fine-grained disseminations of or minerals, often in association with alteration minerals such as chlorite, sericite, and epidote. Disseminated deposits can be low in grade but may be economically significant if they cover large areas or contain valuable metals such as copper, gold, or molybdenum. Replacement Deposits Replacement deposits form when hydrothermal fluids alter and replace pre-existing minerals in the host rock with new minerals. 
This process can result in the formation of distinct or bodies within the altered rock, where the original minerals have been completely replaced or partially replaced by ore minerals. Replacement deposits can occur in a variety of geological settings, including limestone, forming scarn deposits, carbonate rocks, forming Mississippi Valley-type deposits, and volcanic rocks, forming volcanic-hosted massive sulfide deposits. Breccia Pipe Deposits Breccia pipe deposits are irregular masses of broken rock fragments, breccia, cemented together by mineral deposition. These deposits often occur in regions of intense faulting or fracturing, where hydrothermal fluids infiltrate and brecciate the surrounding rocks. The spaces within the breccia provide sites for mineralization, leading to the formation of ore bodies. Breccia pipe deposits can host a variety of minerals, including base metals, precious metals, and industrial minerals. Hot Spring Deposits Hot spring deposits form in shallow hydrothermal systems associated with volcanic or geothermal activity. These deposits are characterized by the precipitation of minerals from hot spring waters as they emerge onto the Earth's surface. Common minerals found in hot spring deposits include silica, forming sinter or geyserite, carbonate minerals, forming travertin, and various metal sulfides. Hot spring deposits often exhibit colorful banding and intricate structures due to the deposition of minerals over time. These are just a few examples of the diverse types of hydrothermal deposits found around the world. Each type of deposit has its own unique geological characteristics, mineralogy, and economic significance, making them targets for mineral exploration and resource development. Understanding the processes that control the formation of hydrothermal deposits is essential for identifying and evaluating potential mineral resources and optimizing exploration and extraction strategies.